Welcome to Whittier Warriors Ask Coach video series. This is the third installment. And the question today is what to eat before a race? Um, we get this all the time. We speak to our athletes all the time about it. Um, we speak to our parents during parent meetings about it as well. Um, but this is a tr tricky one and it varies person to person to some degree, but these are some good guidelines to follow. Um, change this here. All right. so. Coach, I never know what to eat before a race. I always feel heavy and sluggish. Um, I specifically use this heavy and sluggish because this can go either direction. I've had athletes that eat a ton of food and there's a reason why they feel very heavy. They ate um, not only a lot of food, you know, you know, too soon to the race, but also the, the wrong types of food, right? Very heavy foods uh, and, and they're actually sleepy. And we all know that feeling, right? That sleepy feeling we get after a big meal. Um, and sluggish as well, right? But that can come from the opposite as well. If you have not eaten and you're racing, let's say in the afternoon uh, and you, you ate you know, next to nothing at breakfast, skipped lunch because your race was coming up, um, you're gonna feel extremely sluggish and you literally have no fuel in your body or very little fuel or the wrong kinds of fuel, right? Um, so we'll go over that. So first of all, when we talk about what to eat before a race, we don't just mean you know, 20 minutes before or three hours before, we're talking about the night before. I mean, obviously we should be eating right you know, throughout the course of training, but the evening before is super important. Um, so the night before, we're gonna talk a lot about um, you know, what's appropriate to eat. And you've heard a lot of things about this, right? Um, first things first, uh, avoid any heavy, heavy meals that are gonna take a long time to digest. Red meat is probably the best example. It, believe it or not, if you eat a piece of steak, it takes three days sitting in your stomach digesting. And the reason why we're concerned about this, besides other you know, negative impacts of eating a lot of red meat, um, is the fact that your body, because it's still trying to digest that food, will actually shift uh, blood flow to the stomach so that it could do that job, right? It's, it's what the body does, right? So if, if your body is shifting blood flow to the stomach to digest that food, it's not in the right places like the lungs and the legs and other places we need them to be during a race. Um, so we want to try to avoid that definitely the night before uh, and even a couple of nights going into that. Um, carbo loading, you've heard this, if you're in the running community, you've heard this all the time and you hear marathoners and pro runners eating these incredible amounts of carbs, you know, pastas and so on the night before a race. Unless you're doing a marathon or some sort of ult ultra marathon or an Ironman triathlon, um, super carbo loading like that isn't going to get you anywhere. And even in those cases, we can argue against that as well. But definitely not for a one mile race, definitely not for a 5K. Uh, there's no need to carbo load per se. Um, what does that mean? Does that mean the carbs are bad? No, not at all. Carbs are great. Complex carbs are awesome. And you know, we, we want you to eat a full balanced meal, a regular meal. Don't stuff yourself. That's not going to help you. Uh, but don't under eat either. Some people feel like, oh, my stomach gets upset easily. So the night before I'm not gonna eat as much. Now you've got plenty of time to digest. Don't worry about that. Um, as long as it's something good for you, right? A healthy meal, uh, tons of complex, uh, complex carbs are gonna help you as well. And last but never least, water, water, water all the time. And we're not talking the night before, a few hours before, every day. And you'll hear us repeat it over and over again. Drink plenty of water, right? Not sodas, juices, all the other stuff. Uh, not to say you can't have some of that, um, but try to avoid it, especially the night before. Uh, morning of, so you wake up, you got to race that morning, you you don't want to have a heavy stomach, so some people avoid eating at all. I've seen tons of athletes who are like, coach, I can't eat anything, I just, I haven't ate anything, it's, my race is at nine, and so they've been awake for three hours, they've been on the bus, they've been sitting there waiting for the race, warming up, and they're starving, <laughs> but they're nervous about eating anything. And of course, at that point, it's too late. I can't have them eat anything, but they should wake up, drink some water, right? You'll see that bullet point on there. Uh, they should have something light, bananas, toast, um, something that is, you know, some, some light fruit, nothing acidic. So like orange juice uh, or even dairy stuff, um, try to stay away from, but in general, something light, something that basically makes them feel like they're not hungry, not starving, um, doesn't fully fill them but at the same time, gives them some energy, something to run off of, and that's gonna be important. And then in a couple of hours, they race, they're done, they cool down, and they can have a full meal at that point. Um, so again, that, that's gonna be important the morning of. Now, what if I have a race in the afternoon, right? So you can't eat that light of a breakfast and then run at three in the afternoon or four in the afternoon or even later sometimes in the evening. So you're gonna to have to kind of shift everything around, right? Night before, no changes, right? Just still avoid the red meats. Don't carbo load excessively. Don't eat excessively, but eat a good, balanced, good meal that's gonna, you know, leave you satisfied. You know, maybe a little full, right? You get a good night's sleep that way. 
Um, morning of full breakfast. Here's a change, right? So we're not having that really, really, really light breakfast because we've got the whole day that we need to get nutrition in. Um, so full breakfast, regular breakfast, but again, avoid anything that may upset your stomach. Everybody's different. Some people have much more sensitive stomachs. Avoid the milks, the dairy products, the, um, the acidic type foods, you know, even things like orange juice and so on. Um, but have a good meal. And that includes protein. A lot of people think of oh, carbs, carbs, carbs. Your body needs protein in general throughout the week. In fact, throughout every single day, you should be having protein, but healthy proteins. Again, don't have a piece of steak, no bacon <laughs> in the morning, no chorizo, nothing like that. Um, but, you know, get yourself some, you know, some eggs, things like that. They're a little bit, you know, easier for the body to digest. Um, and again, water, water, water. I mean, literally wake up that morning, have a bottle of water or a glass of water sitting next to your, 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 your bed and down that immediately and then continue throughout the day drinking water. Um, three or four hours before the race, this again is going to vary from person to person. I've seen people eat an entire meal one hour before a marathon and be perfectly fine. Uh, I've seen people that they just can't have anything that's anywhere close to five hours before a race, but about three or four hours for a race, you want to have a light meal. So if your race is at three or four, have something at lunchtime, uh, a light meal, um, again, so your stomach doesn't feel empty. Um, and so you have some nutrition, but not so you feel, you know, super full uh, or overdoing it. A salad, a sandwich, a fruit salad or some fruit, um, but enough to, again, make you feel you have some energy in there. But, um, not make you feel like you're starving, uh, but at the same time, not overwhelm your, your uh, digestive system either. And again, water, 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 right? Throughout the day, uh, three or four hours. So plenty of time to drink significant amounts of water. Don't wait till then to drink all the water you should have drank before, but continue drinking during this time. You know, we really wanna, you know, this should be your last meal in terms of food. Water should continue up to even an hour before the race. Um, you know, so it just depends on what you get used to. So again, hopefully this is helpful. This was uh, the Winter Wars Ask Coach um, video series. There'll be more in the series. Thank you very much and have a good day.